Welcome back to another Redstone tutorial and today we're going to talk about on how you can automatically recharge the respawn anchor. If you don't know what the respawn anchor is, um, this is the uh, crafting recipe and it's an alternative to the bed where when you die you always uh, respawn in the overworld but if you want to respawn in the nether you can place this block in the nether and charge it with glowstone and uh, set your respawn point there and then if you die you will respawn in the nether. We'll go through various designs. The first one is gonna be a standard design. It's compact and cost efficient to build and uh, this is already enough then for you just if you are interested in getting the job done. Um, also I will show you then uh, on how to possibly integrate it into a wall but also we will look into and afterwards into a few designs which uh, can be used if you want to have the respawn anchor in the floor or if you want to have the respawn anchor in the ceiling. So let's hop over into the nether. In order to build a very basic refiller you will need the items that you can see in my hotbar and we will start building by placing a dispenser upwards with the respawn anchor on top and then we will face an observer into the respawn anchor then we place a solid block against the observer with two solid blocks beneath these don't need to be iron blocks it can be any non-transparent solid block like stone for example then we place two redstone dust like so and we put glowstone dust inside the dispenser and if we now right click one time the um, respawn anchor with glowstone it will automatically fill up and now with the right click we can set our respawn point so that if we die we would respawn here right away and automatically the respawn anchor is refilled yeah, I would like to show you on this very basic, basic design that we did just on how it can be integrated into a wall. So here you see a very small hut and here you see the very same contraption that we just made integrated. So in case you also want to make it look a bit more interesting you can do it for example like so. Also what I did here is um, having a anvil here with a ender chest on top so this way you can access the dispenser from here so you can easily refill it um, as you wish. Alternatively if you don't like this way of refilling you can also close it like that and you can place a hopper into the dispenser so it goes sideways into the dispenser with a chest on top and this way you can also refill the dispenser. Let's now look into a different design where the respawn anchor is in the middle of a room. So if I die for example now you will see that it automatically recharges like so. For this design we punch out a 3x3 three three area and place shroom lights at the border and the dispenser facing upwards here in the middle. Then we fill the dispenser with glowstone and put the respawn anchor on top. Now we finalize the design by placing polished blackstone pressure plates around and now if we step onto any of these pressure plates the respawn anchor slowly fills up. This design despite uh, looking interestingly is uh, having one downside because the dispenser with the glowstone is a, a little bit hard to reach but what you can do about it is uh, just simply um, pick one side and put um, two hoppers facing into this direction here to the left 
and this one also to the left and put a chest here on top and a pressure plate here on top in this way you can refill the glowstone here and uh, this way you can then refill the respawn anchor more easily and it also doesn't matter which uh, side it is um, it can also be the one where you actually respawn which is also then not a problem let's look at one more floor design before we head over to the ceiling design so this design is using uh, carpets instead of uh, pressure plates like so this gives you more flexibility for example if you want to um, disguise uh, the area a little bit more it's a little bit better for decoration and uh, the way it works if I kill myself is that we use uh, redstone ore for the carpet based design it's important to know where you actually will respawn so let's say your respawn anchor is here um, you could try it by killing yourself just to see where you respawn a little bit easier method is if you uh, press F3 you will see in the middle of the screen uh, the three colors uh, green blue and red and if the red is shining to the right like this right now this is the direction you're gonna spawn in so this is then also the respawn location here if I press, press F3 then the uh, extra screen is gone and we know now where I'm going to respawn so um, for this design we dig three down we also give here it's a little bit more room we have in the middle again the dispenser facing upwards then we have a redstone ore next to it where we're going to respawn then we have an observer observing this facing downwards with the red dot then we have two redstone dust here and the observer with the face downwards observing the redstone dust and with the red dot into the dispenser as the previous design it's a little bit hard to reach the uh, dispenser so if you don't like that you can already place for example here two hoppers facing into the dispenser with a chest on the corner then we place the um, glowstone dust in here and we put the respawn anchor on top now we can finalize by covering up this area here with some carpet and ready is your respawn anchor design benefit of this design is like I said decoration but it also has uh, one downside that the uh, redstone ore has an activation time of 60 seconds and per activation we do two attempts for recharging that means if you die very often um, like five six seven times very quickly uh, less than 30 seconds apart then uh, the respawn anchor may not have time to completely refill actually um, normally this is although I don't think a problem but uh, just uh, if you use such a system and you die in front of your house and respawn and die and respawn and die this uh, system is not fast enough to um, respawn immediately but uh, I think in normal circumstances this should not be a problem let's try it out as well and we exactly respawn in the north what we checked beforehand and here you see the redstone ore activating refilling the anchor pretty good for reasons of uh, completeness I also wanted to show you a design which works um, in the ceiling um, I think it's so a little bit less practical since um, you need a block um, so you can have one air block beneath the um, respawn anchor but then you already need a full block 
to respawn on. Um, otherwise, there will be no valid location. And uh, yeah, so then you would respawn at the world spawn, um, which is not so great. So this is actually a design that would work. Um, then let's also try this one. So we respawn here and the respawn anchor is automatically recharged. So since it's a little bit uh, less practical because you can't really have a nice high ceiling, um, I just would like to show the design that I used uh, rather than going uh, block by block by tutorial. You can still freeze the uh, video and uh, take it from there. So here we have a comparator update detector. This is a sticky piston. There's uh, one block just inside this one. I can't open it because there's something on top at the moment, but uh, just one item in here. Doesn't matter which one. Then we have a repeater here, very important on two ticks. This is powering around like so. Then we have a redstone block here, which is uh, butt powering the dispenser, which is facing down into the respawn anchor to refill it and we have a sticky piston here and a regular piston not a sticky piston here to up provide a block updates um, again uh, i think a block by block tutorial may not be uh, as relevant because i like i say it's not so clear on how useful this design actually is but uh, it's uh, at least looking clean on the top and uh, it's working reliably That's it. Thank you very much for watching and uh, keep on respawning. Take care and bye bye.